Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplug Short. I'm in process of reading a book by Dale Alquist. It's the story of the family. And it's really the story of the family as seen through the eyes of G.K. Chesterton. And there are a lot of great Chesterton quotes in the book. I haven't memorized them yet, but I can paraphrase them. One of them is the statement by, by G.K. Chesterton that you cannot free things from their inherent nature. You can try to free a tiger from a cage, but you can never free him from his stripes. If you even try to free a camel from the burden of his hump, you may well be freeing him from being a camel at all. If you seek to free a triangle from the prison of its three sides, you only succeed in bringing the triangle to a lamentable end. That's a paraphrase. It's said, I'm sure, far more eloquently by Chesterton. But basically, the point is you cannot free something from what it is. And he uses this quote to make a point regarding the family and marriage. You cannot free a marriage from the union of a man and a woman, the proper end of which, of course, is to bear children. There is nothing in any other social relation in any way parallel to the mutual attraction of the sexes. And by missing this simple point, the modern world has fallen into a a hundred vices and follies, follies ranging from same-sex sexuality to transgenderism. By seeking to destroy the triangle of truisms, we succeed only in destroying civilizations that once cherished those very truisms. Seeking to thwart nature, we succeed only in cutting off the very limb on which we are seated. You can never break apart the basic union of civilization. You can never replace it with anything as as rudimentary and as important as the family. You can't replace the authority of parents. You cannot replace the bond between husband and wife. You cannot replace the bond between mother and child. And to try to do that only serves to disintegrate civil societies. The generation, our generation, that seeks to free itself from proper conception of family will only succeed in binding itself with chains. The family has survived the beast of the forest, barbarian invasions, industrial machines, technology with all of its inherent nightmares, the madness of state and government bureaucracies, even the lawless modern educational system. The war against the family began with the attack on marriage and then on children, first, of course, through abortion, but then also through the killing of innocents in the classroom. Ultimately, This is a war against God and the church. And the ultimate road back is always through the story of the family. It's always through the basic building block of marriage. Again, it's an interesting book. These are some thoughts that I garnered in reading the first few chapters, and I thought I'd, uh, while they're fresh in my mind, stop and share some of these insights. Again, the book, The Story of the Family by Dale Alquist. Thanks for tuning in.